Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. It is Connie Tate here. Thank you for joining me if you're going to be joining me. Um, let me just get everything set up and I'll be, I'll hop right back in. All right, let me know if you're here. Send me some love, do some hearts, thumbs up, or say I'm here. Um, so what I wanted to do tonight is, because I'm already going to be preparing a meal, so I thought, well, why not just do a live and show you exactly what I'm doing and some of my favorite products that I'm going to be using today. Um, first, how are you guys? Let me know how you're doing. Um, how is your Tuesday? Are you sticking to Taco Tuesday, or are you doing something a little bit different today? I'm doing something a little bit different. Hey, Tressa, thank you for watching. <clears throat> I might be saying your name wrong. I do apologize. Um, hey, Michelle, thanks for watching. Um, but anyway, so I am doing, um, I love shrimp fried rice without the rice. So um, I, there's all kinds of recipes floating around for shrimp fried rice, chicken fried rice. I thought with my um, delivery, <laughs> hey, Nikki. I thought with my grocery delivery, I ordered shrimp, but I didn't. So I'm going to do mine with chicken. Um, I'm just trying to get this to come up over here. Um, okay. So I'm gonna do mine with chicken. Now we all know I do not like to talk, touch raw meat. Hey Marsha, thank you for watching. Hope all is well with you. Um, I don't like to talk, touch raw meat, especially chicken. So whenever we get a big pack, my husband, he's the one who bags it up for me and separates it. I just, these, I just thaw it out in the bag and to avoid touching it, I cook it in the microwave in the rock crop. That's a little scary when you hear chicken in a microwave, I know, but that's what we're doing. That way I don't even have to touch it. Um, so what we are doing we're going to have some chicken i'm going to have some chicken left over that i'm going to use for brent he's going to make chicken tacos um and then my chicken's going to go into cauliflower rice and i'm going to make a stir fry or like a rice um fried rice if you will i'm going to do everything the same that you normally would with fried rice except for it's going to be with cauliflower rice now tonight i cheat it and I do have a head of cauliflower, but that's saved to tomorrow. I'm gonna do the um, spicy cauliflower bites. So I always have my handy dandy frozen rice cauliflower. You know, I always like to make my own, but sometimes, you know, emergencies call for, you gotta cheat a little. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm not sure why nothing's coming up over here. So I have an onion. I like onion. I like the taste of onion. I like, you know, um, the flavor that it gives. So I will chop up an onion first. And as I'm doing this, I'm just going to show you a few of my favorite things, just in case that you're wondering, like, what's the difference between, let's say the chopper, you know, my dogs are here the chopper and the manual food processor if you're on the fence with one of them and you're not sure which one i'm going to go over those tonight too um so just to give you a little bit of an idea of what to expect um so it's going to be an onion i also like scallions for inside of mine too um frozen cauliflower rice and you always want to use i didn't realize how important this was the sesame pure sesame oil this will give you the flavor that you're looking for um, as far as fried rice goes. It's, um, you only need a little bit. This is a lot thicker than, um, hey ladies, thanks for watching. If you're here, let me know. It's a lot thicker than like your normal oils, but you will never catch me using vegetable oil, canola oil, or anything like that because they're just not real good for you. So sesame oil is one of those oils that you want to make sure that you're using and that it is in your pantry. And now my dogs, they are going to use now of all time to play, bark, and now they want to go out. So, um, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use sesame oil. 
I have my chicken cooking in the rock rock in the microwave because we know I don't like to check, touch raw meat. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use the chopper. Now the difference between the food chopper and the manual food processor. I love both of them. If I want to do, if I want to mix ingredients, if I want to chop up um, onions, cauliflower, pepper, like whatever all together, this would be my go-to. If I'm going to do nuts or this would be my go-to, like anything like that. You can also make smoothies in here. I'm not a smoothie drinker, so I've never done that. This is more for like if you want to do just a little bit at a time. Um, this is perfect for that. I know everyone loves their chopper and it does come apart so it's easy to clean. Plus everything's dishwasher safe. Everything's dishwasher safe with this minus the lid because the lid has your motor in it. Plus your manual food chop processor will come with a lid. You can take your blade out, put a lid on and you can put it right in your, in your refrigerator. So really there's not a big difference. Um, you can control how little or how much you chop with both of them. One you can store your ingredients in, the other one you cannot. They're both dishwasher safe, the manual food processor, the lid is not. So those are the, the two main things there. Now my chicken's cooking. I have about 30 seconds and I'll show you what this is like. And guys, so whenever something breaks for like one of my customers or whatever, or maybe not even my customer, I always take it upon myself to um, contact Paper Chef myself to get things replaced. Well, I don't do it for myself. So my lid dropped in my um, rock rock casserole dish. My lid dropped, broke, so now I have to improvise because I never called them about it. Alright, so my chicken's in here, and of course you want to make sure it is, um, the temperature is 165 Celsius, so we just want to make sure that this is done. It doesn't have to be done the whole way because we are going to be making it in the stainless steel wall. So that looks pretty good. We will just let it cook for a little bit more in the rock rock. And let it sit in there. Remember the rock rock is going to continue to cook because it holds heat. So um, that's still cooking. I've already peeled my onion. And like I said, I like a lot of onion. I love the flavor of onion. And you're going to see me take a drink of my water because with me talking, I get awful thirsty. Tell me what you guys are up to. What's for dinner, guys? All right, so I'm going to use the food chopper. Or the, yeah, the food chopper. You want to dice it up a little bit? If you have something small, like if you're doing nuts and you're just doing like a single serving, you know you can chop right into the lid and you chop. This is great if you have a bad day and you need to take your aggressions out. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna chop up these onions. I love that thing. Who has the food chopper? All right, so that's one whole onion. My dogs are always under my feet, always. We're just gonna take, scrape all that out. Now, to clean this, it does come apart. So some people who, um, salmon cakes, cheesy potatoes, and green beans. Michelle, that sounds wonderful. Cheesy potatoes, my husband loves them. I love salmon. Um, so this does come apart. You can take every piece off and every piece is dishwasher safe. Plus, this will come out so that you can also um, open that up and clean the blades. So we all know I always have a sink of hot soapy water, so I'm going to put this in there right now. Let me check my chicken. Okay. So another 
item I am going to use that I don't really talk about enough, I don't think, and I do love, um, oh, Julie, I've had my food chopper for at least 10 years, still going strong. It is, I've had someone who recently told me that they just, I guess their, their um, plastic ring broke and they had it for 20 years. Luckily, just so you guys know, if you have the old food chopper, your little plastic sleeve can, um, you can, if it breaks our new food chopper, the plastic sleeve will fit around that. So just FYI. All right, so I'm using my stainless steel wok. I am so excited about this because when I started my Pamper Chef business back in April of 2019, I make it sound like it's been forever ago, right? <laughs> so April 2019, I earned this baby. It is so pretty. It is durable. It's heavy. I love it. Um, the one thing you have to have. Absolutely, Julie. I agree. I love it. It's quick. It's easy. Um, the food chopper is amazing. Thank you, Laura, for sharing. I'll put you in the drawing. So when I first got this, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I was terrified of stainless steel. Because anytime you hear stainless steel, just like cast iron, which I was petrified of cast iron too. Now I love it. But stainless steel, it's very finicky, right? So you don't want to use high heat with it. Um, no cooking sprays. No cooking sprays. Um, because your commercial cooking sprays, <laughs> everyone is probably tired of hearing me say this. But your commercial cooking sprays will create a coating and eventually it's going to do just the opposite. So and you're going to get frustrated and wonder why it's not. I'm non-stick anymore so our stainless steel cookware it does have like on the inside you can see it does have the non-stick coating it is safe so you don't have to worry about if it's teflon like what are you eating what are you consuming nothing's going to be scraped off you have to cook it on low heat um, that's the one thing like when i got it and i was thinking well stainless steel i just don't know i've had stainless steel in the past and it's just too difficult for me I'm being fully transparent here. So I have the walk. I earned the walk. So I told my husband, well, I am going to try it out and then we'll go from there. And I absolutely love it. So I love it so much that I got the 10 inch stainless steel pan as well. Um, if something does stick to this, think about your heat. You want to make sure it's on low heat. Don't try to like cook fast in your stainless steel because and that's any stainless steel. Stainless steel. It, you really have to be sensitive with them. So what I am doing, I'm gonna do my wok here. What I'm gonna do, I chopped up my onion. I have my scallions here because I still, I wanna make sure I can saute them as well. I am using the small cutting mat. I love those more than the big ones. Scallions, I'm only gonna use two. Now, the recipe calls for you can do frozen peas, you can do carrots, whatever you wish. I'm eliminating carrots and peas out of my diet, so I will not be using those, but the recipe that I did share earlier has peas and carrots in it, so it is the full recipe, but it has shrimp. When I did my um, grocery order, I thought that I ordered shrimp. I was on a call with my team, and then real life came out, my husband put everything away, and I'm like, did I get shrimp? He didn't see any shrimp. So anyway, so I decided I'm just going to use chicken. So what I want to do is I already cooked my chicken in the rock rock. And remember I have my cauliflower rice, which I'm going to show you tomorrow how to rice your own cauliflower. Because I have a head that I am actually going to be doing the recipe for the spicy cauliflower bites. So anyone that's looking for something a little bit healthy, but you still have like, you feel like you're being, um, you're cheating a little bit on your diet. We're we'll going to do the spicy cauliflower bites. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I do have another one. So I'm going to cut up my chicken. If you don't have the microwave grip sets, that's another thing that you're going to want to get. 
you know, it's so funny because I feel like I'm crammed in this. I don't know how to. I need someone with technology. I love the small mats too. Yes, Michelle, I, I do. I prefer to use them. But I feel like I use everything small anyway. Um, all right, so I have my chicken. Remember, I'm keeping some out for Brent because he won't eat this. Anything that has cauliflower, broccoli, whatever, you can forget it. Unless it has potatoes and corn, he's not touching it. So I have my chicken here. All I want to do is really dice up. I'm just going to do one chicken breast for myself. And I love, I love my forged knives. All right, so we're just going to dice these up because I want to put them in the wok with the olive or the um, sesame oil so that it gives it that nice, flavor like you feel like you're eating Chinese food <laughs> but really you're not and how many of you love sushi let me know that because I have something for you too let me know if you like sushi because I'm planning my next live on what I'm gonna do so that would help tremendously if you let me know and if you do like sushi do you like raw do you like cooked do you have you never had it like me I judged it Found out really quick that I actually do like it as long as it's cooked. All right, so we're just gonna cut this up. And you know what, if you're looking for some really good cutting skills, that's not me. I'm just like you, I just cut, cut, cut. I did find out that our um, forge cutlery, it has a, this one does not, but like the chef's knife. It has the PC symbol on both sides, and that's where you're supposed to hold it. So it gives you like a guide. And of course, you're supposed to like rock. I can't, I'm not doing that, guys. So don't judge me. I'm just cooking for my family. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I'm cutting on that one. This is why I brought this over. Oh, another thing, because I think I may have forgotten. Oh, me, I love sushi. I love everything raw or cooked. Oh, Julie, that is so awesome. No sushi for me. Michelle, I'm going to change your mind on that. Because I was just like you, girl. I was like, nope. Mm -mm. And then all of a sudden, I grew to like it. But if you have the cutting mats, guys, how many of you put these in the dishwasher and the back peeled off and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I just ruined my cutting mats. They're supposed to come off. I didn't, I was just ch checking to see if mine's off. There's gonna be a film underneath yours. They're supposed to come off, so don't panic. That is the right way to use it. I freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, I ruined them already. I just got them. Um, no for me, no sushi. Ladies, come on. You have to join me tomorrow. I promise you, you will like it. I have a plan in action. Um, but you sound just like me because I was like that too. Now my youngest son, he absolutely loves sushi. Cook sushi. I don't know if he ever had raw sushi, but cook sushi. I won't do raw. Every time I think of sushi, I think of like eel or something like that and I'm not having that. Okay. So what I want to do is remember my sesame oil, sesame oil, no vegetable oil, no canola oil, sesame oil to give you that nice, rich like Chinese food flavor. I'm a little leery about saying certain things, so I apologize. So we're just gonna squirt that in the bottom. Let that heat up a little bit. Remember with the stainless steel, it can be used on the induction, it can be used on my gas stove, it can be used on flat top stove, electric stove. You wanna be careful like with the glass top stove just like anything, I would hope if you have a glass top stove, you're not dragging things all around the stove. You should be picking it up anyway. So that's, I will always tell people that. Um, oh, I am so glad the film is to come off. I was so mad at myself for putting them in the detroit. I figured, Julie, I had to say that because I'm not going to lie. I was making, um, oh, pretzel bites. And when you get the kit, it comes with one of the mats. And I'm thinking, why in the heck is my mat still sliding all over the place? I never took the film off. But before that, when I first got my kit, it comes with the three of the large cutting mats. 
And I did the same thing. I was like, I'm just gonna put these in the dishwasher. Is dishwasher safe? It, I pulled them out. I'm like, oh my God, I just got these. It's supposed to happen, so it's all good. <laughs> Next time you eat sushi, get a tuna roll with avocado and drink green cheese. The tuna is raw. Huh. I am going to have to try that. Thank you for the tip. Oh, that was Laura that said about the film to come up. Yep, completely normal. Completely normal. You're good. You're good. Okay. So I have my, I don't know if you guys can see me, but in my stainless steel wok, I have my oil warming up, stainless steel, low heat. Um, make sure like it can go in any kind of glass top or any kind of stoves. Just make sure you don't drag it. I have proof that I said that. So um, once that heats up, I'm going to saute my onions. Remember, I cheated with cauliflower. This is already bagged cauliflower um, frozen. I already cooked that. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to add my chicken mix it all up. I'm also going to add an egg because you know with um, fried rice, there's always an egg. I'm going to add that and that's going to be my dinner tonight. Brent's going to just have boring chicken tacos. He doesn't put any toppings on it but cheese, so that's his thing. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Give me some input. Um, give me some love. Give me something. Share it out. Um, okay, so we talked about the food chopper, chopper, we talked about the manual food processor, the wok, and something so simple, and let me know who has this, and who hasn't used it, who needs recipes, who needs ideas. The ceramic egg cooker, let me know who has that, I have some recipes. I have some ideas for that. Also a video. Um, I love, 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 love. I'm working on fiery chicken pasta. How long do I cook the noodles in a rock crock? Okay. Cheese tacos are the best. That's all. Oh, come on. Come on, Laura. I thought you were fun. Uh, um, okay. So cook the noodles. I usually do it in the rock crock. Um, Nikki, do you have are you using chicken stock, beef stock, vegetable stock? Like what are you using or water? That'll help a little bit. Um, just got that. So you just got the ceramic egg cooker. So I'm not a big sweet eater. Um, if I make anything, I am going to be using usually almond flour, chicken broth. Okay, um, I'm usually gonna be using almond flour or something like that, something that my husband doesn't use. So if I get a sweet tooth, I'm going to make my own little um, mug cake in the ceramic egg cooker and add my almond flour, Lily's chocolates because they don't do anything with your um, insulin levels so it doesn't spike, things like that. So um, Nikki is using chicken broth. All right, Nikki, so you wanna test it out for the, for the fiery pasta. Try about eight minutes and see if it is done to your liking. Sometimes I start with eight minutes and then I'll go to like 10, 12 minutes. It all depends on how you want your pasta. Um, make sure you don't rinse it because if you're using chicken stock, it's going to help the noodles from sticking. Plus it makes it a little bit creamier for you. Unless you put too much in, then you'll, obviously you're going to want to drain that out. All right, so my sesame oil is cooking there. I'm going to put my rice cauliflower, which tomorrow I'll show you how to rice the cauliflower. Make sure your wok is on low heat. Love my onions. I'm going to put this in. Who has the handy scraper? <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. You are very welcome. Is there a trick or a secret to keeping the stuff from sticking in the egg crock? I don't know why this keeps going down on me. Um, or the lighting. So when I do the handy scraper, I like to use this with my onion. Put that right in. <coughs> so for the ceramic egg cooker, honestly, you're gonna have a little bit of residual, um, what I'm gonna say, food particles that are going to stick to the um, 
egg cooker. I apologize, but I don't know why I'm dark. Hopefully my lighting's okay. Um, you're gonna have a little bit, but what I typically do is I melt a little bit of butter. Do not use Pam. Do not use cooking spray. I melt a little bit of butter on the bottom of it and just swirl it around a little bit and then put my ingredients in. Hopefully that helped. All right, so I got my um, cauliflower rice, my onions, cooking in my sesame oil. Let that cook a little bit and I have my chicken here. Now let me cut up a little bit of scallions. I'm only gonna cut up one because I only want one in the mixture. And then I'll top my, um, I'll top my, when I plate it, I'll top it with the rest of it. The handy scraper is one for, it is, you know what, Laura, I'm not gonna lie, I just recently got it, because I was like, ah, well, let me get this. There's a lot of things that you guys will realize that, just like everyone else, because I just started in April 2019, so just like everyone else, I'm just like, well, I don't know if I'm gonna use it, I'll try it. And then when I see other people doing it, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get it. That's the handy scraper for me. And also, the mini skinny scraper, look how cute that is. I love this to get inside the chopper. I hope I'm not making anyone nervous. Okay, so I have my scallions cut up. I'm going to, once this gets, I'm not really gonna cook this too much because my cauliflower rice is already cooked. So all I wanna do is just brown it a little bit. And I still like my vegetables to have a little bit of a crunch. I don't wanna make it completely um, soft. If I'm, am I still there? Cause like I said, I feel like I'm so dark right now. I don't know what happened. Um, so I don't like it completely soft, so I'm going to have it just a little darker, or a little darker. See what's happening right now? A little more crunchy. Once that gets warm, I'm going to then cook my egg. I'm going to use the stainless steel whipper. I don't put a lot, I don't cook with a lot of salt and pepper. But we're just gonna whip that up just a little bit. And then when that's ready, I'm going to push, um, you're here, thank you so much, Julie. I'm going to push the cauliflower rice. We're not using rice, we're using cauliflower. Just push that aside so I can scramble my egg. And then I'm gonna mix it all up. Put that in. It's always good to heat your stainless steel first. Same with cast iron I found, so it's always better like if you heat it up first um, and then cook. That way you're not inclined to use high heat on any of it. Um, like, you know, the high heat on the stainless steel is going to end up ruining the stainless steel. The stainless steel is beautiful. It is a great pan, it is a great set. You just have to know how to use it and baby it a little bit. Um, for it to, to work properly. So I was completely afraid of it whenever I had gotten mine, um, but I love it now. Like I love the wok and I love my 10 inch stainless steel skillet. I will tell you, I don't use them as often as my cast iron, which is crazy because I, when they came out with cast iron, I was like, there is no way, no way I'm gonna use cast iron. I use it all the time now. I'll be giving you guys a sneak peek, not today, but um, soon about the new spring line that's coming out, some of the things that are coming out. Hey, Deborah, thanks for watching. Don't forget, I do have this recipe. I know I'm doing a lot of talking, but I do have this recipe um, already shared, but it's under shrimp fried rice. I just didn't have the shrimp. All right, so now I'm just mixing in my egg with the cauliflower rice. 
And I think for myself, and you can see, just so you know, I did cook egg in there and it didn't stick to it. I'm gonna put just a little bit more sesame oil on it. Because I like the flavor. All right, so the egg's cooked. The, ses the um, cauliflower rice is cooked. I am going to have, I'm going to have to get my reading glasses on now. Um, if you have about two inches of the white bar, I want to see all you can see. Ooh, good tip. Good tip, good tip. So this part is what you're saying, Julie. I'm going to do that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let me put in just half of my scallions. Give it that nice flavor. This wok, I tell you what, I love it because I'm not the neatest cook. Um, so it's nice that the, the sides are so tall, I don't have to worry about everything coming out. Let that in there for a little bit, and I'm going to add my chicken breast. This is one chicken breast. Now, this will be enough for me for today and tomorrow. Um, yep, just change the water every couple days. Oh, thank you so much for that tip. I am going to do that, although I will tell you, I um, try to grow my own herbs, and I killed them. I kill them. It's a wonder that I can bring my orchids and things like that back to life, but I kill herbs. I killed my cilantro. I killed my, what else did I have? Basil, my oregano. And I heard that those things are a little bit easier to grow. I can't even grow that. So, all right. So we're going to put the chicken in. I'm gonna, let me put this in the water. Mix it all around. This, I'm, I'm not even lying. Like, this is one of my, I know a lot of people have already um, used this recipe and absolutely love it. So, and you can really do anything that you want. Like I said, I'm not doing peas, I'm not doing carrots, I'm not doing those things because I don't eat them. Um, but in the recipe, it does show carrots and and um, peas. So we'll let that cook a little bit in that wok. Don't forget the ordering link. If anyone who places an order on that ordering link would be entered into a prize drawing for a PC item. You just don't know what that is. It all depends on how many sales we get. I'm doing that once a month. So I'm excited for that, guys. Um, a couple more things I wanted to show you. I showed you the food chopper, the manual food chopper, and we'll talk about the rock rock and things like that later, but I'm talking gadgets today. And here is, I know I have some faithful followers on here, so you guys know probably what my next thing's gonna be, the whipped cream maker. The whipped cream maker is an absolutely, <laughs> So Julie said, if I can keep an orchid alive, you can regrow scallions. Well, I'm going to try it because, I mean, orchids, they're a little temperamental too. So the whipped cream maker, who has this? Who's used it? Who needs help with it? I am going to schedule some Zoom um, training on some products. And one of my things that I want to do is obviously the, like the quick cooker, the deluxe air fryer and the blender because they're all 25% off right now. But there are some gadgets that some of my customers aren't sure how to use and they haven't used them yet. So I've decided I'm going to do a little bit of zooming. Zoom, zoom, zoom with that. So the whipped cream maker, make your own healthy whipped cream in a matter of three ingredients. That's it. All right, so like I said, the chicken's already cooked, the cauliflower is already cooked, I cooked the egg, I did the scallions, I did the onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce to it. Now, I love wasabi. 
So on the side, can you make butter in that? You can. I'm gonna do a live on that. So I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. Now, whenever I serve this to myself, <laughs> I say myself, because I'm the only one that's gonna eat it. I do add a side of wasabi paste. I love the taste of wasabi. I'll let that simmer a little bit. The um, stainless steel wok does come with a lid. So I turn the heat off. I'm gonna let that simmer just a little bit. Um, okay, Michelle, can you make butter in that? You can make butter in it, and basically it's just heavy whipping cream and salt, and it will turn into butter, um, which I plan on demonstrating that as well. Um, uh, you always demonstrate the whipped cream maker. Definitely a kitchen must have. If you do, you can do whipped coffee, you can do whipped hot chocolate, which I just recently seen. Um, I haven't done that yet. I've done the whipped cream. Um, and let's see what we're in January. I was thinking about something, but the mix and chop. Your every kitchen has to have the mix and chop. I, I have two, actually three because I have one in my, in Delaware, the mix and chop. This is something my mother-in-law had gotten and she, for years, obviously, like we all do, we use either a spatula or a spoon or something to try to break up the um, burger that you're frying. She got this. She's like, where was that? Like, where was that before? She said, I can't believe I ever got away with not using it. She loves it. Um, so you can mix up this. You can use um, to mix up like scrambled eggs. You can do scrambled eggs or if you're trying to puree just really quickly um, strawberries or I'm trying to think of what else mash up sausage burgers when i make chili i use this a lot because i combine sausage and deer burger together we eat a lot of deer guys my husband's a hunter um so our freezer is full of ground venison so i use that for my chili like this is amazing scrambled eggs things like that everyone needs a mix and chop but i will not keep you too awfully long i hope you've got some valuable information that me share with you my chicken fried rice topped with a little bit of fresh scallions and that's it it is super it is so good so make sure you try that recipe it is shared already i'll also put in the comments remember it is shared as shrimp fried rice fried rice um but i didn't have shrimp because i thought i ordered shrimp but i didn't so that's it if you guys have any questions um also feel free to share this out laura i know that you did i appreciate it um trying to get out there and hopefully you guys learn something from me i know i learn something from you guys every day julie thank you so much for all of your input and um what you know your suggestions and things like that that's awesome i love that so I hope you guys have a fabulous night tomorrow. I'll be hopping in. I'll do whipped cream um, and there's cauliflower, spicy cauliflower bites in the deluxe air fryer. So I hope you guys have a great day. Well, great night. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. I'm open 24 seven. So from my kitchen to yours, have a fabulous night. Thanks guys.